Hi honeys, I'm Nikki and welcome to A Destination Lifestyle where I'm on a journey to an amazing lifestyle featuring influences of fashion and travel. And if that's your love language, your vibe, you know, your zhuzh, then honey, I am the president of your tribe, okay? Today we're gonna talk about designer wish list items for me for 2024, 25. And with that being said, let's just go ahead on and get into my outfit of the day so we can get started on that wish list, all right? All right, honeys, today I am rocking, of course, my Anna Karen Carlson glasses. You know, they're always a vibe. I get complimented on them on like a daily basis. Like, I think I'm gonna get another pair of frames just to kind of like, you know, just to kind of like split up the time because like every single day, oh my God, your glasses are so, what is that? Is that a cat? Honey, it's a leopard. All right, so anyway, let's keep it going. Uh, Chanel uh, earrings, I'm wearing um, little jewels, little rings. Uh, Rolex watch, I'm wearing a Tiffany dupe. It's a bone cuff dupe. Don't worry, it's linked in the description box. Uh, Wolford, I love these bodysuits, y'all. Wolford bodysuit. They hold the girls in and then it's thick so you don't see like a nipple print or any of that stuff but sometimes nipple print is kind of sexy but not today i'm just at home chilling uh my chanel denim black jacket and oh my gosh i barely found this jacket y'all the thing about chanel this is like seasons ago but the thing about chanel if you don't get it right then and i know sometimes we don't have the coins to get it right then but that's what every season you know you have to save up a little bit of money and be like you know what i know chanel's gonna come out with something fire and bomb and i'm gonna like need the money so let me just put this little money to the side this is the chanel fund this is the chanel fund so i will be able to get my coveted piece when it comes in all right guys that all like yeah so that's what i'm rocking today and um uh, yeah let's get started on my designer wish list all right all right honey so first of all everything is not designer on my wish list but we will definitely start with um the designer things all right First of all, I have got to have an oversized bag, okay? Like the craze of the oversized bag is just like, I already have over, oh, I already have oversized bags. And you know what? I think I'm gonna just bring these out of the archives, you know, just to show you guys that everything, like what goes around comes around, literally. And let me show you guys something that I have here. I have, this is, Speaking of Chanel, my multi pocket tote bag. I don't even know, I can't even remember what year this came out in. Anyway, I'll look it up and I will definitely put it on the screen what year this bag came out in. But guys, this bag was like pocket, 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 pocket. Zips open here, it's huge and it's hot pink on the inside. So I actually, I just went in my closet right before making this video and I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, you forget that you have things. This bag is, I don't even know what I have stuffed in this bag, but, oh, I have a bunch of uh, little, you know, the bags, dust bags, dust bags. This is like filled with dust bags so we can keep the shape. And guess what else I have, guys? Y'all, I'm crazy. I also have this bag in white. Let me tell you something. I had the bag in white, it was white. I'm gonna put a picture of it. It was white with the uh, black letters here. It, it gotten so dirty. It was so dirty that I took it into Chanel to get it cleaned and they was like, yeah, I don't think this is gonna get cleaned. They gave me a credit for the bag. Like they gave me a gift card for the bag so I can buy anything else that I wanted in um, Chanel. I think at the time, like that bag was $3,000. And that was very expensive for Chanel bag at the time. Keep in mind, I'm not a spring chicken. And with that being said is, I've been collecting bag, bags for years and years and years. I think some people watch my videos and um, they're like, like, how does she have all this stuff? It's, because, it's not because I got it all at once. I've had this stuff for years. Like, I've been that girl for a very long time. So it's not that I just came upon uh, 
this stuff within the last five years. Like, no, I've had this stuff for a very long time. And as you can see, if I took the year of that bag, I've just kept everything. And so with that being said, I also have this bag here. It's the same exact bag, but it has the black CC right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's the black CC, so it's like double black. This is my baby sister purse, her purse right here. So I don't know why, I can't even remember why I have this bag. Oh, I, I used to have a store, I know why I have this bag. I used to have a consignment shop called My Luxury Trash. Like that store, like I had, I was doing it on Instagram like years and years, like when Instagram kind of first came out, unfortunately, uh, I stopped doing it. I just, I don't know, like, oh, I know why I stopped doing it. I stopped doing it because my, I was living in Miami at the time and I was keeping everything in a storage unit. I remember I went to St. Bar's, like I was on vacation and they called me and said, hey, can you pay your storage bill? And I was like, I'll pay it when I get back to Miami. You know, when I get back, like I'm in, on vacation in St. Bar's, y'all. Don't y'all know that they sold my storage unit? They sold my storage unit. I don't think you understand. They sold my storage unit with all of my designer items in it. My storage unit had maybe $150,000 worth of things. I had Balenciaga city bags. Let me tell you how I found out who had my storage unit. I I go to pay my bill and I was like, hey, like my storage, like my key is not working in that storage. And it's like, oh, we sold it. You sold it? I was late paying my bill two days. Let me tell you, like it was a total scam. They told me that the owner of the storage purchased my unit. Specifically, I think he had someone come up to purchase it for him. Or they said that he purchased, this was years ago when I was living in Miami. And I was like, how does the manager of the storage unit pur purchase your storage? They had an auction or something that they had. I wasn't even late, I was late two days. Like who sells someone's storage for two days? They said they went in my storage and they saw a Louis Vuitton luggage. They knew the luggage was real. And so he bought it. Inside of my luggage was like, there was, and I had boxes of things since I had a consignment shop. I had other people's things also. Y'all, don't y'all know I had to pay people back like for like their items that they had sent to me. That was like, that was like, I was sick to my stomach. I remember the same night, I like, I was so anxious. I was so anxious. I was lying in bed. I couldn't sleep. I was just lying in bed and something told me like, eBay. Like eBay was really, really popping at the time and I like, like just jumped up and I was like, eBay. I remember I had specifically a pair of yellow Christian Louboutin suede boots and I had a yellow Balenciaga big city bag. And so I searched those two items on eBay. And when I searched those two items, um, they popped up. My, my camera battery is dying, so let me switch, uh, let me switch cameras. All right, y'all, sorry about that. So long story short, all the things, they, between two different accounts, all the things that I had in my storage damn near was on eBay. I was literally sick, sick to my stomach, okay? Just sick to my stomach. I had so much stuff, my iced coffee. Y'all my little barista at home. <laughs> But I was definitely sick to my stomach. I was like, what in the whole entire hell is going on? At any rate, I think it was, it wasn't because it was the materialistic things because you just get over that. Things are just things and it is, it is what it is. It's just things. It was the point that I felt like someone had come into my home. I felt violated. That's the word. I felt violated. And when people, you, you can see your things, but you can't touch them. Between two accounts, y'all, I bid on absolutely everything and I kept holding them up so they wouldn't sell my items. But you know, at some point I just had to let it go. I remember going to the beach, just laying on the beach and just being just like, oh, I just, I, I felt sick to my stomach. So, and that's one reason why I don't value a whole rack. I don't value a lot of stuff. Like I like things. 
I don't like things. I like things a lot, like the next person, but I don't put any weight into it. I don't hold any value into it, you know? All right, guys, let's go on to the next thing. So yeah, okay, oh yeah, the thing is, we're talking about big bags. So the thing is, I definitely would like an oversized bag. Um, what's on my list for my oversized bag besides me toting my um, throwback Chanel multi-pocket bags? All right, I definitely have a Kelly. I want a Kelly, but the thing about Hermes is you don't necessarily, not even necessarily, you don't get what you want. You just have to go in there and say, oh, you know, this is, this is what's on my wish list. And you tell them what's on your wish list and then you just have to take what they give you. And if you don't take what they give you, then you're on that list like, yeah, she didn't want what we gave them. So yeah, we're gonna skip her and we're just not going to offer her anything else. I don't wanna be on that list. So whenever they've offered me something, whether I wanted it or not, I've purchased it. And what else is on my list? Uh, oh, the coach bag to take the price all the way down because not all of us can afford a Kelly bag. Honey, I can't even afford a Kelly bag when I wanna afford a Kelly bag, to be honest with you. And that, oh, that coach bag, has me in a chokehold. I, I definitely know if I get one of those bags, I want the blue or the burgundy. That's what's on my list, the blue or the burgundy. Now definitely, like this bag is so cute. Coach is doing their thing. First of all, Coach's leather has always been supreme. Let's not play with Coach about their leather, okay? Uh, Coach's leather in, is in, actually in some like luxury vehicles and you know, like, Coaches, coaches that girl. So it's like, stop playing with coach, okay? All right, so this is this bag also has me in the chokehold. That Balenciaga bag. Here I am in with it in white. But seriously, am I really gonna get that much wear out of a white bag? I think that I would actually like to take it in black black with the silver hardware. It actually comes with the gold hardware and silver hardware. I think I would actually love to have it in the silver hardware. That Balenciaga bag is so fresh, y'all. It's just so fresh, all right? All right, so enough with the bags. Let's move. Okay, so I am no stranger to a white button up shirt. Like I know what has seen me coming. My thing is I want to collect the white peplum button up or do you say button up or button down? I always get confused. But I want to collect it one in absolutely every designer. I have Celine, I have Burberry, I have Gucci. I, I like have I have a lot of designers. But there's a couple that I don't have one in. And there is this one that's kind of on the trendier uh, side, which is the Dior peplum shirt with uh, Miss Dior on it. And also, like, I, I love that shirt. shirt. I think this shirt is so cute. And I think, like, years from now, when I just, like, pop out with it on, like, I think, like, you know, it would be appreciated then. And also uh, this Jean-Paul Gaultier shirt with the tie. I love this shirt. Like I have um, ideas for this Jean-Paul Gaultier shirt. Like it is, like I have big dreams for this shirt. I have big plans for this shirt, okay? I, I really need this shirt. And actually I found this shirt on a couple of websites that, um, that they're priced, you know, a little bit below the original price, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead on and pull the plug and buy it because I nothing haunts me more when I don't purchase something that I know I really want and I'm just, you know, being lazy. Like, I'm not about to wear it now, but I don't buy it because I'm not about to wear it now and then when I go to actually buy it, it's gone. Also, uh, this shirt here I love. Uh, it's I purchased it from Revolve. It hasn't arrived at my house yet because we all know a package a day keeps the attitude at bay. And this shirt is so amazing. I just love this whole total look. I love the look. And I know y'all probably thinking like, what is she going, what, what, why does she like the whole total look? Cause, cause I do. Y'all, I'm a whole grown woman. I don't care what nobody say, honey. I wear what I want to wear. 
Don't nobody tell me. Honey, that is my pet peeve. My pet peeve is someone trying to tell me what to do. I don't like when people try to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm, I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> oh, let me tell you about this. Oh, to go back to the bag. Uh, you know, I said I wanted an oversized Kelly bag, right? You know, I was telling my girlfriend and she was like, I was like, yeah, oh my gosh, I want to go to, you know, Europe because I want, you know, this oversized Kelly. Like, I'm not that into Birkins and it's not that I'm not that into Birkins because honey, if they sold me one, I'm going to take it. Just, I mean, let's be real. I'm going to take it. But I would rather a Kelly bag. And she was like, I just don't know why you want to spend all that money on that bag. I never thought, I, this is my friend, my friend, my friend, friend, my, my wife. If I had a wife, it'd be her. I'm just like, girl, are we even friends? But I understood where she was coming from and she definitely understood what I explained to her. We have different priorities, okay? You have a whole person that you have to take care of. For me, it's just me, baby. Our priorities are not the same. They are not aligned. Girl, I want the bag and the bag wants me. She has a dependent. I don't have a dependent. My bags are my dependents. Do you hear me? I don't have any kids. I have nieces and nephews. And oh my God, I cannot wait until the day. My niece, I have two nieces. No, I have more than two nieces. <laughs> my niece, I cannot wait until the day that my niece comes to me and she says, Aunt Nikki, can I have this bag? Right now, my girl is in her tomboy era and I understand it because I've been there, done that, and I think she's kind of coming around. But I want her to come and visit me and be like, you know, I, I Nikki, you know, can I have this, you know, can I have this Chanel bag? Baby girl, yes, you can. What have you been waiting on? Baby, I was waiting on you at the door. I want you to have it. I want you to have it. I want you to want those things because you don't have to pay for it because I Nikki got you, girl. I Nikki got you. So when I'm older, yeah, I that's what I'm gonna do with my things. I'm gonna give everything to my nieces, okay? All right, let's go on. We're gonna move away from bags because of course I told you I wanted a coach, the Balenciaga and the Kelly bag. And then we went over the peplum shirts that I wanted. I wanted the Dior, the JPG, and that one that I have from Evolve. It's already coming in the mail. Hopefully it should be here tomorrow. Let's move on to some other things. Okay, so these things are not exactly designer, but I think that, you know, they're must haves. A leopard coat. All right, honey, so I already have a leopard coat here. I, I was at uh, Paris Fashion Week and I definitely wore this leopard coat. This leopard coat was very inexpensive and I purchased it from um, The Vault by Sasha. Sh shout out to Sasha. Sasha's one of my homegirls. Well, she's not my homegirl because we're not from the same place. But Sasha's my girl. And this coat was so amazing. You know, it was, you know, it was very inexpensive. And with that being said, I did have to get the sleeves fixed on it. I took it right to uh, Charvet in Paris and they just tacked the, the little hooks on the sleeve of the trench coat for me so that the, they would, it wouldn't move around. But at any rate, definitely a another one. I want another one. I just want it in a different color. I've seen one on Commence. I don't know where Commence came from. It's just like all of a sudden I started seeing it on my timeline on Instagram. And I've definitely gotten a few things from Commence, y'all. And the quality has been fine. It's been fine. So this coat or either this coat from Nasty Gal. I love them both, you know. I, I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with, but like I said, it's a different color. Like my leopard coat is in the more black and this leopard coat is in the more uh, brown gold family, you know. So definitely a leopard coat, okay? What else do I have? Oh, y'all. A... Y'all, like, I, I wanted this jacket actually last year, and I think I just waited too late to get it. 
but it speaks a volume because I still want it this year. But now that I go to purchase it, it's not in stock. They always bring things back. So I have my notifications on for uh, the Frankie Shops, this maroon or burgundy biker jacket. This biker jacket is so freaking fetch. Do you hear me? It is so, it's so good. It's just so good. It just looks so rich. Do you hear me? It just looks so rich and just, it's just oversized and it's yummy and it just looks wealthy and you know, warm, you know? But it comes in one size. I'm definitely, my upper frame, I feel like it's a little smaller. So I'm definitely, I don't want it to swallow me. I want it to be oversized. I just don't want to be swallowed in it. You understand what I'm saying? So definitely want this Frankie Shop coat is definitely affordable. There's also a red bomber that I'm looking at. It's on Revolve, it's on sale. But the, I'm gonna wait until, to see if I can get this I gotta get the burgundy coat first, but if that doesn't come in, then I'm definitely going towards this red bomber. I mean, I may just end up with both of them, y'all. I don't know. I gotta clean my closet out, y'all, because it's just, the closet, honey, I'm surprised that my closet has not caved. I, there's power in the tongue, so I probably don't want to say that, because if that happens, y'all, I'm gonna be sick to my stomach if I walk in my room and my closet is caved, because y'all, I just need to get some stuff out of that closet, because it's just too much, it's too much. I forget, I forget that I have things, and when I'm out of town, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, why didn't I pack this? I didn't pack it because I didn't see it. So I have to get my closet done so that I can see the things that are in my closet, so that I'm able to wear it properly. All right, so with that being said, let's move on to the next. Okay, so we've done the uh, moto jacket, the leopard coat. Oh, black moto boots. Um, yeah, black boots. I've got to get some new black boots. I have boots, but I feel like they're kind of maybe, I want them to be like manly, manly. I have the Chanel boots with the little chain on them. I have the Prada uh, mono something boots. I have those. Uh, but I actually want to check out Prada. And I actually want some that are maybe not as expensive. I saw a pair at Coach. Coach had these little moto boots. They're just, they're classic plain. I'm more of a classic girl. I, you know, I do things like this because this is Chanel. This is, I don't think this is a classic piece. It's a more trendier piece, but I know that I'll have it forever and I'll be able to give it to my niece, you know, when she's ready to step into that designer world, you know? But other than that, yeah, I feel like this coach boot is like a good boot to have because of course the leather is superb. Michael Kors even, I think they have like a cute uh, moto boot. All right guys, that's it with the boots. Now, first of all, my love for denim is like, over, like I love denim, I love jeans, I love all kinds of jeans, I like expensive jeans, I like inexpensive jeans, I like big jeans, I like boot cut, I like, not really boot cut, I like skinny jeans. But at the moment, this pair of jeans has me in a choco. I've wanted this pair of jeans ever since I saw that it came out. I just didn't pull the plug on them because like, I mean, you just can't be pull the, pulling the plug on just like $1,100 pair of jeans. Can you? I mean, I guess I sometimes can, right? <laughs> I have these those Prada jeans here. Like, y'all, those jeans are so good. But these jeans here are uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier and I saw uh, one of my favorite influencers, Carolyn, she had these jeans on and I thought that was so cute. She kind of wore, well, I was gonna wear mine, not I was going to because I still may get those jeans, y'all, because I really want them. I pictured myself in Paris in these jeans, a white crop top and a white blazer and white boots or white pump. I just feel like it would be just like so chic and so cute. And I just picture myself in the middle of Place Vendôme with that outfit on. And you know, I would just go to dinner at the Ritz, have my favorite burger, and you know, sit there and be chic and be posh, you know? That's what I like to do, y'all. <laughs> 
I like to get dressed up and go out to dinner on dates with the assistant, okay? So yeah, these jeans are definitely on my list uh, of things to buy. And I don't know, they don't have my size right now because I think I waited too late, but I'm just waiting on, until I have my notifications on. Y'all, you gotta keep your notifications on. And when it pops in, the thing about JPG is I don't know what size I am. I don't know if I should get it. I don't know if it has stretch. I don't know if I should get a 27 or just get a 28 so they can be a little oversized. But I feel like the, I don't want them oversized because the jeans have so much going on that if I get them oversized, it's just gonna look like like crappy. And that, like, I don't want them to look baggy. I want them to look like, oh my gosh. I wanna look chic and posh when I wear them, all right? All right, moving right along, uh, the perfect jeans. Um, Zara, I just ordered these jeans and I just got the notification that they have shipped. These jeans here were so inexpensive and the cheap girl in me, let me tell y'all, I will buy some $1,100 jeans, but when it comes to Zara, I want to wait until I get to Europe and purchase. What kind of sense is that? These jeans are $69. I just know when I get to Paris, they'll be like 49 euro. And so that just plays with my head. But these jeans are so cute, right? And then check out the back of the jeans. I think they're so cute. Like a little peekaboo action, right? I think that's super cute, right? And even if it's cold, it's just... Oh, and then the jeans are kind of like mocking like uh, my Mason uh, Margiela jeans. Like definitely, like this is... They definitely took that from Margiela. But it's fast fashion. And you know what? It is what it is. And so we just have to go with the flow and go with it. But I definitely can see myself rocking these jeans for a very long time. Cause at the moment I don't think I have any distressed jeans. I got, I think I kind of gotten rid of all of my distressed jeans, probably except for maybe one pair. But I feel like this is gonna be my new favorite pair of distressed jeans. I could just imagine my Zara jeans, that Frankie Shop Moto jacket. I have a Bordeaux uh, Chanel wallet on the chain, and I have Bordeaux uh, Christian Louboutin pumps. Like I said, I'm a pump girl. Always have been. Probably always will be. And it's just gonna be like, you know, stepping out of uh, my Uber in Paris and walking right into the restaurant. Cause honey, I'm not walking around Paris with a pair of pumps on. I always have a bag. If you haven't noticed, like if you've seen my uh, vlogs when I'm uh, traveling, I definitely always have a bag with me. Even if it's like my little Arquette bag or some kind of bag or a shopping bag, I'm gonna have some kind of bag with me because inside of that bag is probably gonna be a little ballerina slipper, okay? Because honey, she is not walking around in the pump. What else jeans? Oh, um, this pair of jeans, you gotta get them. They're a must have. They are uh, Amazon and they are all of, I think 40 bucks. This jean is so cute. The barrel leg jeans are so cute. If you're not sure if you're wanting to get into the barrel leg jeans, this pair of jeans will be your introduction into them. And with that being said, you're only spending $40. You get them, you try them on, you don't like them, then you just send it back to Amazon because we all know Amazon will take anything back. But definitely, this jean is a must-have, okay? And, uh, oh, uh, who else? Oh, American Eagle. Honey, I've been wearing my little American Eagle jeans like every chance I can get. These jeans have been linked in my LTK, and I actually got the style from uh, Oh Hey K. Oh Hey K, she finds goodies, 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 goodies. And she posted these jeans, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is American Eagle. I'm gonna uh, post them to see if, you know, there's still some in stock. I have, I'm only 5'6", and I, 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 you know what, let me say that with pride. I am a 5'6", and that's not an only, because that's a little above average. <laughs> And these, and I have long legs. I'm not the tallest, but my legs are long. Uh, I guess I have a shorter torso. But the jeans are long, and then they have that fold. I think the jeans are so cute. I even um, had my girlfriend, Jennifer, who's 5'10", to get the jeans, and she can also wear the jeans. She has, I think, a size six, and I have a size four. But the jeans are so cute, and they're long enough for her. So yeah, that's that on that. Okay, so those are the jeans, the Amazon. Okay, of course, I already have my Prada jeans. There are a different pair of Prada jeans I want. They're like a raw denim pair. But I think I'm finished with Prada for this season at the moment because I think Prada has gotten enough of my 
money this season until I get to Paris and I walk into Prada and I see something that I must have. Y'all, I have, don't think I've ever walked in Prada and walked out with like nothing. It's very rare. I don't know what it is about Prada. Like I think that I like Chanel, but first of all, Chanel price, Prada is right here, y'all. Chanel is like up here. Like Chanel don't be playing. They be wanting like $3,000 for a pair of jeans. I'm like, come, come on now. Are, like, are you serious with no stretch? No stretch. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? And yeah, who's going to be the new uh, creative director for Chanel? I'm so interested in seeing who that is because when this last lady came, when that first, um, her first line came, I was like, mm, yeah, this is not Chanel. This is not Karl Lagerfeld. Like, who, who, what, is, what is going on? And then it grew on me. Like, every, you know, it grew on me. I loved it. I started loving her. And now she's gone. And so who's it going to be? I think they're going to announce someone soon. That's what I heard. All right, guys, so we're finished with the jeans. And right now, let's go to belts. I want a new belt. I need a black belt with gold hardware. And then I just need kind of like a novelty belt, right? Um, this belt is on my list. This Koloe belt is so stinking cute. Can you imagine just having on a pair of jeans, a white button up, and if you put that Chloe belt, if you, the shirt can be like out. Like don't stuff the shirt in the jeans, just leave the shirt out and then just put that Chloe belt around your waist. Can you imagine how freaking cute that would be? This belt is so stinking cute. And I love how it's oversized. Like it's so cute, right? If anyone wants to dote to the Nikki designer wish list items list, Go ahead on and see your girl cash out, okay? <laughs> All right. I also think I want a new Chanel belt because I don't get tired of Chanel, okay? I just don't get tired. And that is just is what it is. All right, so um, Chanel, like with Chanel, I think I have to go into Chanel and um, just ask them, can you just show me all the belts so they can just go to the drawer and just pull out the drawer and then you just go in there and you just look at every little thing, look at every little thing. Like, yeah, Ch Chanel definitely has me in a chokehold and Prada definitely has me in a chokehold. I love Miu Miu too, but I can't even say Miu Miu has me in a chokehold because I don't even own that much stuff from Miu Miu. I go in there and I'm thinking like, Y'all, this stuff is made for like little Asian girls because my booty will not fit up in this stuff. Like when they have the little skirts and stuff, my booty ain't gonna fit in that. I'm what you call slim thick, okay? A guy I met, uh, he was from London. We were in uh, Vegas and he was like, yeah, you're, you're slim thick. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, I was sitting on my leg and it's sleepy. All right, guys, I think that we're finished with my designer wish list items for 2024, 25. You know, this list changes ever so rapidly that I know that I'll have something else on my list tomorrow. So when I come up with something, I will definitely let you guys know. Oh my, I'm loving my hair straight. What do you guys think of my hair straight? I'm, it's actually like October and I feel like October, I, I'll go shorter. My hair is, y'all remember when I got that bob last year, I got my hair cut into a bob like I'm going back to the bob of course the only thing is I'm going on vacation for my birthday of course we know I'm going on vacation for my birthday honey my birthday is a whole holiday for me but with that being said I like beach destinations that's why even shopping for me this time of year is kind of hard because I'm always also shopping for summer clothes still because my birthday i'm going somewhere hot honey I, ain't trying, I, I don't like the cold weather i don't like the cold weather i don't like it at all every year when it's snowing in dc i say i'm moving back to miami i'm moving back to miami and i haven't moved yet i haven't moved because i'm lazy I don't want to pack up everything and move. So this is just like a stationary place for me that I can just hold all of my clothes and just be ready to go when I'm ready to go. But 
I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the cold. I'm tired of the cold. But anyway, I'm going to wear a hot and I want to get my hair done. I want to bob. I don't know if I want to bob or a lob. And another thing, I don't know if I want a weave or if I want to wear my natural hair. The thing is when you have a weave or you like, like I want to feel my scalp. I want to feel my scalp. It's just nothing like being able to like put, just scratch your head if you want to scratch your head. Like if you have a weave, like this is a U part actually. I love this U part. I've had this U part forever. The, ha the hair is from D Hair Boutique. And that hair is some, I've had this hair forever. Some of the best hair ever. And I always get their hair when it's on sale. I only get it when it's on sale. I wish they had clippings. If they had clippings at D Hair Boutique, like I would be like, I would have my hair all the time. And I just like, if I want to change the style, I'll just put in the clippings. So my thing is, once again, I don't know if I want to wear a weave or if I want to wear my hair. I just feel like with a weave, it's like you can, you know, have so much volume. So am I going to have a bob that's really thick and bouncy or am I just going to have, um, wear my own hair which my hair is I feel like it's on the thinner side or am I just gonna just you know just go with my natural hair I have no idea I know when I do wear my natural hair I can just wash it you know when I'm gone on vacation and just you know just let it just be free you know be free with life be free with the water you know all right guys so I think that when let me show you something guys and this is why I like Chanel too not that other brands don't do this, but I'm in the middle of organizing my jewelry. And I have like, this watch was sitting here in front of me. Like I have my jewelry spread out here on the table in front of me so I can organize it. But I just looked down and I saw this watch. This watch here is Chanel. Let's see, this is a Chanel J12, right? I've had this watch. This is an example of me. Like I have a lot of stuff, but this is like, I didn't just get this stuff yesterday. I didn't just get this stuff five years ago. I've had this watch since um, I was living in Atlanta when I got this watch. I got this watch in, it's 2024 now. Uh, I bought this watch in 2006. So I've had this watch since 2006, right? Yeah, I've had this watch since 2006. And it looks, it's a ceramic watch. They still have this watch in the store. It's, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with this watch. This watch is still perfect because it's ceramic. But that's, I love classic pieces because I'm able to do things like this. I could put on this watch and someone would probably think like, oh, you know, oh, she has a, you know, a nice straight toe. Honey, I've been that girl. Been that girl. This just didn't happen five years ago, babe. So when people come in my comments and they're like, oh, she, oh, you know, she's materialistic. I'm not materialistic, baby. I've been had this stuff, okay? I've been material, oh, I've been materialistic. But it doesn't, um, it doesn't do it for me. Like, it's it's not my everything, if, if, you know, if that makes sense. Like, I just like nice things because I know that I'll have it forever. I'll have this watch forever, okay? Or until I feel like giving it away to someone that I feel like is worthy of having it because I take really good care of my things and so it just looks new. So yeah, like, I'm your friend that when it's time to, let me tell y'all, sometimes, you know, with my girlfriends, you know, when they got a guy and, you know, the guy is about to, you know, maybe splurge on him a little bit. I'm that girl that the girls call when they're saying, oh, what should I get? What should I get? Like, tell me what to buy, tell me what to buy. I'm that girl. I'm that girl that they call, okay? Let me tell you something, y'all. Everyone's, you know, on that Van Cleef. I'm going to have to bring up some pictures like of years ago when I was wearing, I've been wearing Van, Van Cleef for 10 years maybe. And Van Cleef is way older than that. And actually the Van Cleef that we wear, I've got my jewelry in front of me, like I said, the little, the Alhambra that we wear they said that this was for you know the story that they tell is that is for the um it's actually for the poor people in the united states because like 
I guess, I don't know, maybe it's kind of like a logo. Maybe they think we wear logos, but they designed it, they said, for the poor people. Like, it, this Van Cleef, I've, worn, I've had this stuff forever. So if you were to ask me uh, years ago, what should, I, wish, what should I get, what should I get? I would have told you Van Cleef. And another thing, like, now I'm seeing, like, everyone has on the Bulgari watches now. They're like the Serpentine watch. Like, I've had this watch, my watch, for a couple of years. I ain't just get it. I, that's why you should buy what you love don't buy what's trending buy what you love now the van cleef is trending so much that i don't even wear my older pieces i just you know i wear pieces that mean a lot to me like this like my alhambra uh where is it my green Al alhambra necklace that's uh the malachi that means a lot to me so i wear it i wear my um my mother of pearl one because it means a lot to me but i also have you know bigger ones and i don't wear it because i guess they're like bigger maybe i'll wear them you know out at night maybe if i'm going somewhere i don't know I, it's just like not a thing so my point is to wear what makes you happy and you'll be happy with your jewelry I just don't, it, for me personally, I just don't want to go outside and I look like the girl next to me in the checkout. I don't want to be like dripped in Van Cleef and everyone else is like dripped in Van Cleef. It kind of makes me want to, okay, so let me start over like, you know, like let me revamp my style because I'm not just trying to look like the girl just next to me at the checkout. We all dripped in Van Cleef. Yeah, I'm kind of like over that. <laughs> All right, so I'm on to the next. I'm gonna get me some like some Chopard and, or get me some freaking um. Oh, I'm I'm definitely I definitely want a new watch. I want a new watch and mm, maybe this I'm just gonna get the watch first because yeah, let me just get the watch first, okay? Because I don't want to just like you know sometimes when you say you speak these things into the universe and then someone's like praying for your downfall. Let me just get what I want first okay let me just get that watch first because that's like a, a bigger purchase and you we all know that I'm in you know the market for a piece of gold mm, I can't wait I wonder what I'm gonna get for my birthday anyway guys I have rambled enough well it wasn't rambled we was talking about fashion so honey I'm a party tribe baby president president okay all right, y'all, so let's just close this vlog out. And I have got some work to do. I've got some uh, birthday planning to do because I've got to some birthday ordering to do. So let me get that started because I need everything to get here before I leave, all right? So all right, guys, I will see you guys on the next vlog. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Like right now, I'll wait. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. I just saw it. <laughs> All right, guys. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Destination Lifestyle. Bye, y'all.